Discover Card Countdown to Green, brought to you by Discover to Go. It pays to discover. By Suzuki, maker of innovative motorcycles, scooters, and all-terrain vehicles. And by the new do, Mountain Dew Live Wire. Summer will never be the same again. Next year, the Southern 500 moves to a new slot on the Winston Cup schedule. A year from this weekend, these teams will be racing at the California Speedway in Fontana. The Southern 500 moves to November. It becomes the next to last race of the season. So the 2004 Series Championship could be decided right here. In my opinion, you could run the Southern 500 on a Wednesday in January, and all these teams would be here. The question is, will the date change help improve attendance? Now, the date change has been a hot topic of conversation in the garage this weekend, exceeded by just one thing, the weather. And as Dave discovers, Darlington Raceway is one hot lady. Well, Bill, the temperatures today pushing the 100 degree mark, but that's nothing compared to what they're gonna be inside the race car. They're gonna go up to about this high and beyond 140 or more inside those race cars. That is unhealthy for the drivers. It raises their body temperature. It can cause heat stress and fatigue. So tests have shown that if you can cool down the lungs of the driver, you can uh, cool down the whole body. That's because the lungs act as the radiator. And that's why when you see a guy get handed a bag of ice in the middle of the race and he stuffs it inside his suit, that works because that cools down his lungs. The, the helmets also have cool air coming into them sometimes, and that works as well. And what I want to show you today is the, some of the latest technology for cooling, putting cold air to the driver. This little unit right here is called Kamikar, and it's an eight pound box that cools the air electronically through this hose and then either connects to a vest, which is porous, and the driver can wear it inside his suit, or it connects right to the driver's helmet, letting him breathe the fresh air. Now, that wouldn't be such a big deal if the driver were starting or if the cool unit were starting with 140 degrees. Drop it 30, you only get down to oh, about 110. That's not good. But this unit draws air from the outside, which means even if it hits 100 today, take it down 30 degrees, you're right at 70, and that is literally a breath of fresh air for the drivers. Now, does this unit work? Well, let's just say already here this weekend at Darlington, it's been to victory lane at the hands of Brian Vickers, who won the 200-mile Bush Series race just one day ago. And Bill, it could be the next coolest thing here in NASCAR. In fact, I'm gonna see if they have a pocket version for pit reporters. Yeah, order four of those. Will Absolutely. You, okay, thanks a lot. Booty Barker and Roger White have something in common. They're teammates on the 77 car driven by Dave Blaney. Booty is the crew chief, Roger is the electrician. Booty is a familiar face around the track. You'll see him maneuvering his wheelchair through the garage area. Roger works at the shop. But these teammates have something else in common. They both know that in racing and in life, it takes four good wheels to get around. Here's Benny Parsons. Do you understand there's a lot of people out there that, that look at Booty Barker and say, you know, that guy, it's incredible he's been able to accomplish what he has. When I become Winston Cup champion, yeah. you can say, well, am I a hero in all this? And I'll say, oh, well, okay. I've got something for you to be a hero about, you know? I look at him and look at the things that he's accomplished and know that I can accomplish those things too. And like I said earlier, that's my ultimate goal to become a Winston Cup crew chief. Roger White does all the electrical work on Booty's cars. And by the way, he's in a wheelchair too. So when that man says, gentlemen, start your engines and that switch to it, you had something to do with it. I know, I'm praying and hoping that starts on the only couch. <laughs> it was a car accident nearly 10 years ago that left Roger paralyzed from the waist down. Crushed three vertebra and actually ended up partially tearing my spinal cord, so. But you have somehow managed to go on after that. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Got to keep going. Uh, what I'm doing right now is installing outlets to heat the oil in the car. Basically, there's a thermocouple that changes resistance with heat, feeds that back to the microprocessor, and the microprocessor turns the AC off and on to maintain uh, temperature of the oil plus or minus a degree or so. Roger continues to be an avid basketball player, and just like his boss, he doesn't want any special treatment. I don't want anything done differently. And, you know, I'll adapt to, to my environment, and Booty's the same way I know he is. You know, you got to deal with what you're dealt with and make the best of it. So it doesn't matter if you're sitting or standing. You got to keep going. You can't feel sorry for yourself. Roger was here at the track yesterday. He'll be watching today to see if Dave Blaney's car does start in the 10th position. Just a few moments ago here at the Darlington Raceway during driver introductions, Jimmy Spencer was introduced to the crowd. And 
Kurt Busch also introduced to the fans at Darlington this afternoon. Man, if only they had qualified right next to each other. Well, they both say it's history. We'll see what happens. Still ahead as the countdown roars on, the miles and the smiles that lie ahead for Jeff Gordon. I think if you asked anybody in the garage this, they would say the one thing about Jeff Gordon that they noticed the most. It seems like he's always happy. Do you have the perfect balance in your life now with Amanda and, and the way your life is going? Well, she's certainly added to it, that's for sure. Uh, I'm on that, that constant search for, for the balance. Just like a, a good race car is, is perfectly balanced, I think so is a good life. And, and life is good. Uh, we have a lot of laughs, and, and I am happier these days, and, and I am smiling a lot more. And, and I think it is because life is, is better balanced for me. Today, Jeff Gordon could become the first driver to win the Southern 500 six times. Gordon has 62 career victories. He has won four Winston Cup championships. Only six drivers have won more races. Only two have won more championships. Still, with all his professional accomplishments, it's his personal life that makes the front page. Last week, Matt Yoakum visited with Jeff and found out with the turbulent seas now astern, Gordon has a new first mate and the renewed confidence to set sail on and off the track. Matt Yoakum, what the Jeff heck Gordon. are you doing in Newport, Rhode Island, man? I wanted to ask you the same thing. Hey, we're just uh, hanging out on the boat. Uh, welcome to 24 Care. Let's show you around. Oh, I'd love to. Great place to watch DVDs and... A little bit of NBC. NASCAR and NBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always here watching S the races. SNL. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, it, you know, the boat really turned out nice. I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's just a great way to, to get away and relax and have all the comforts of, of home. Captain um, and, and first mate, stewardess, chef. So uh, we, we could stay on board here for a long time and, and really enjoy ourselves and have great meals uh, and, and Serve, serve a few cocktails or whatever your pleasure would be. Is he hard to cook for? I mean, does he have a lot of no, little special things that he likes? What's, what's oh, my come favorite, on. Jenny? Come on, tell him my favorite. What's his Cinnamon favorite? Roll. Oh, I'm waiting for, <laughs> what about for dinner? Um, ahi tuna. Ah, yes, the ahi tuna. Uh, she does the best rare ahi tuna. <laughs> she, I, I'll, I'll just say, Jenny, bring me a plate. I want a plate this big. Walk into the master bedroom. This is it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it really is very comfortable, just like being at home. So this, this is the best view, and uh, one of my favorite places, of course. You can see why it's one of my favorite places, because this is where we find Amanda all the time. Hello. Close to the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Amanda. Hello. Hi, guys. Yeah. Well, life is great for Jeff Gordon, but why is life great for Jeff Gordon? You know, I mean, there, I have so many reasons why, uh, you know, life is good. I mean, you know, I've had an amazing career and, and still do. I, I love racing, um, great family, you know, great friends. Uh, you know, Amanda's been awesome for me. You walk down the street in Charlotte, Atlanta, you name it, people go, there goes Jeff Gordon. When you walk down the street in New York City, what happens? They go, look, there's Amanda Church. <laughs> <laughs> and who's that guy? <laughs> yeah, there's Amanda. Oh, that's her boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. I was explaining to a girlfriend of mine who said, you know, I heard that you're know, settling down and blah, blah, blah. Tell me about him. And I said, well, he's a, he's a driver. And she went, oh, 
You're dating someone, chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we need to work on New York a little bit. And she's like, no, you know, what's a Winston Cup? And, you know, asking these questions. Oh, don't <laughs> and, and so she's like, no, no, Richard Petty, you know, and Dale Earnhardt, you know, how many did they win? I said seven. And she goes, well, how many have you won? I said four. She goes, four, really? She goes, well, is that pretty good? And, and I said, well, I, I think it's pretty good. She said, well, edit this well part how many other people have won, uh, you know, four or more? And, and I said, nobody. And she's like, Wow, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing pretty good then, aren't I? And I said, well, I think we both are. You know, you hear a lot about the new Jeff, but really it's not the new Jeff. Is it just Jeff with a different perspective on life? I think so. I've learned a lot about life. Um, I, you well, know, it's been a difficult few years for you. It, it has. You know, there's been a lot of ups and downs, and, and I think a lot of things have been portrayed as I just had it handed to me on a on a silver platter and, and that everything came to me very easily and naturally and you know one thing I've realized is that that you know life throws you a lot of curves and, and you learn lessons from those and, and makes you a better person and and through all those things I, I have no regrets I just you know realize that what I need more and what I like to have in my life to, uh, to keep that smile and you know I, I feel very blessed to have a great career um, and, and hope to have you know, a lot, of, a lot more good times uh, ahead of me. Amanda summed up the relationship off camera by saying she's not perfect, he's not perfect, but that's why we're perfect together. And you've been near perfect here in Darlington in the past. Are you going to be able to break that record that you and Kale have together? Uh, I don't know. I hope so. We've got a really good car. And, um, you know, we worked hard yesterday and just trying to get the balance right on it. And that's what we've done successfully here in the past. You know, it's a tough place on tires. And uh, Robbie and these guys have, have put a great race car underneath me. So starting a little bit deeper than I'd like to start. And uh, we're just going to try to work up through the field and be patient. Kind of follow the uh, tracks of Brian Vickers yesterday. They did an awesome job. Really proud of them yesterday in that bush race winning this thing. And love to be in that same position with about 20 to go. I'd like to make it an all Hendrick weekend. Jeff rolls off 14th. Bill? Thanks, Matt. Next, Wally gets behind the wheel. And alongside actor David Spade. Will this Saturday Night Live alum complete 500 miles at Darlington? Or will his racing career be red flagged after a Hollywood minute? Dude, I don't like it. You'll love it. Hey, Wally, if I freak, you got to pull over, all right? Just if you throw up, throw up that way. I don't like it. 